Hey guys, welcome to Winecraft. My name is Mario Luna with MarioLunaSob.com where we develop the sommelier in you. This week, while you're preparing your kids or college kids to go back to school, sommeliers like me, we don't take time off. It, there's so much to do when you prepare for the sommelier exams like blind tastings, uh, I gotta do a lot of written tests, I have to do, prepare for the service exam, while you're getting your kids up at like six o'clock in the morning, I don't have a syllabus. I don't have. To, I, I got to figure out when I have the allotted time to prepare. That's my life. I choose it. I love it. So while you're preparing to go back to school, I'm working on my notes right now in the Veneto, and that's in northern Italy. So I'm going to incorporate some school subjects that your kids go through, and I'm going to incorporate that into my wine notes in this week's Winecraft. Let's get started. So here are my notes. I mean, when you go back to school with wines from the Veneto, Italy, that's in Northern Italy. And you got the beautiful subjects of chemistry, social studies, or, you know, like geography, biology, recess, because what's school without recess, and art class. So we're gonna start in chemistry. You know, in chemistry, you put formulas together, you see bubbles, you see some, designs to happen. Well, I'm going to use that for Prosecco, that sparkling wine. The grape is Glera, and when you try Proseccos, I love the earthiness. The little peach is slightly sweet. It's not as dry as champagne, and it's not as uh, sweet as a Moscato. So this is a nice everyday drinking wine, especially when I'm in Las Vegas when you're in 100 degree weather. This is a perfect wine to try. Next, social studies or that geography class and we go over a prominent body of water that helps out the wine's flavor. It's called Lake Garda, and it's beautiful. If you ever take a picture, or if you ever go on the website, or any type of Google search of Lake Garda, it is breathtakingly beautiful. And it makes beautiful, awesome, awesome, awesome Pinot Grigios with that lemon, pear, almond notes. It's very pleasant. That's why it's very popular when you go out to eat or something for everyday drinking. Now, let's do a little twist with that Pinot Grigio with a biology class. And with biology, you tend to study plants and just the way of life about certain things. So by staying green, we use a grape called Suave, Suave. And then those grapes are Garganiga and Treviano. And think of that Pinot Grigio, a little bit more of a herbal and mineral note. It, the, the price of those are not too far off what a Pinot Grigio would be. So if you're looking to try something different than Pinot Grigios, this is the wine for you. The next two wines are, the final two wines are connected together, Amarones and Rapazos. And I use Amarones with recess because what do you do when you're in elementary school? You go outside and play. So we use that into incorporate that into the production of Amarone. So there are three grapes. There's Corvina, there's Mor Morlinara, and Rodinella, and they lay them on straw mats, bake them under the sun. What's that create? That full blackberry, blueberry, pepper, warm notes. There's no dryness whatsoever. A lot goes into the production, so it's not that cheap to actually enjoy. But finally, we do art class. So where a wine's worth a thousand words, you take that Rapasso. I try to use that Picasso reference. I don't know if it's a great analogy, but I think it's good. And you take the same grapes from Amarone and you take the skin of it and you remake that wine and it becomes Rapasso. So instead of that full note you get in Amarone's, you get of a light feel, very similar to like a Pinot Noir like style red wine there. And these are not as expensive as Amarone's. And you'll see that in the notes at the bottom of the screen of other wine suggestions. So this is my way of going to school. When I go back to school, or when you go back to school, from the Veneto. Well, the whole goal of the wine craft videos with Wine Geographic is all about educating you with the notes that I have every week. I mean, we have over uh, 12 videos right now, and I love this process of just showing you 
a different way to learn about wine and just keep it fun and informative. So while after you get your kids into school, get a little settled, you know, get some time to relax, um, take your time. Go through all these videos that we have on winegeographic.com. At the bottom of the page, we have uh, some wine suggestions for you of the five different styles of wines from the Veneto. And if you have any questions along the way, or if you like the video, let me know at the bottom of the page. Until then, go through this little crazy time and uh, I'll see you next week.